What is up people of YouTube? I'm your host Vernon. This is Tool Springs. Let's fish that. All right guys, we will catch fish in this video. This video is going to be a tad bit different from my usual videos uh, for one simple reason I don't have any rods or reels with me here today but we're going to attempt to catch some fish. Now to explain why this video is so different this is kind of a random idea that I thought of uh, one where I have a hypothetical question that kind of determines this video. All right so to explain the question that I have we first need to kind of alter our reality so let's assume for a moment that this is an alternative universe. One where the virus that was spreading uh, tended to take three months incubation period. Uh, so it's three months where it can spread between people without people noticing. And it had a mortality rate of let's say 90%. Uh, something drastic like this happens then basically society as we know it would come to a halt. Now my question would be that if something like that happened and society came to a halt would this be a place where I can actually survive? Now in this scenario I don't have anything with me except for this one little survival tool this is something I have in my wallet uh, not something you're going to travel around with but let's say for instance this is the only thing I have my question would be can I use something like this and survive out here? To survive in a desert you need water that is why I'm here at Tool Springs. Uh, the idea being we have water here. Now as it gets hotter and it is summer this water will evaporate but quite importantly Tool Springs actually has its own spring somewhere. It actually has spring coming from the mountains feeding water. Even if the water level drops down there will still be water here and water is important that's going to be the first thing we need so we can check that one off the list okay so I'm doing this video during summer months as I believe this is a lot easier time of the year to actually catch fish and perhaps find a food source here on this little survival kit of mine we have some different varieties of saws we have some we have some spear edges some spear edges and some arrowheads with some hooks and different types of hooks and that is basically what I'm going to be trying to use today out here to see if I can catch some fish. Now because we are not in an emergency circumstance I am not really going to try and eat the fish nor will I actually try to kill anything for survival nor will I damage any of the property. This is still a state park it's not a national park but it is a state park so I will not be damaging any of the little reeds and stuff we have here. These reeds are actually a great substance to use. If the need would arises this would be a great thing to try and make a little fishing rod out of or simply if I need to build shelter you can always use reeds like these. Alright so this park has lots of birds as well. We have lots of geese. Uh, a few ducks and stuff like that around. If I had to use this little arrowhead or something and put that on a stick making a spear, I probably would go for one of these geese or duck and uh, try to kill it because believe it or not that would be an easier thing to eat and you can use liver or some meat of these animals and actually try to catch some catfish. They are quite tame at the moment but as soon as you start killing them they will tend to move off or not be as approachable as they are at the moment. All right so survival does look promising at a place like this because you have water obviously you cannot use the water as it is at the moment you kind of have to boil it and you have food sources again you have to cook your food uh, so we have water we have food I'm confident in my skills in creating fire. Um, I have I've been in Fuertrakers. Uh, that is basically 
the equivalent of the Boy Scouts here in America. So I have some skills. I do know how, how to use. I do know how to use stuff like reeds to create. I do know how to use stuff like reeds to create some bedding or create a cover for some shelter. And I also do know how to make fire using only wood and stuff like that. I'm confident in my skills in that, but we have food, we have water. All right guys, because we are still in a park, I don't want to be using anything like this little saw blade to actually cut off a tree, or cut off a part of a tree or some of the reeds. I don't want to actually destroy anything. So I'm walking around the park looking for any any pieces of wood or any stick that I can use to try and fashion a fishing pole, as well as I'm looking for a place like this. They quite recently turned on the irrigation here, so the ground is actually still wet. And I am attempting to dig a hole here to quickly see if I can manage to find anything like earthworms or anything like that that I can use for bait. Looking for some wet soil was the key. Uh, didn't have to dig deep while it's wet. As soon as it's wet, they try to come up to the top. So I'm going to try and keep this one, try and keep it, and we'll use that as bait to see if we can catch some fish. And then I also found a stick we can use. Uh, I have no idea what type of wood this is. Not a very long stick. I would prefer a bit of a longer rod. But I think this will work fine for a makeshift fishing rod. Now all we need is to find some line to use and knowing the nature of people I can basically just walk around the ponds. People love leaving fishing line around. Let's see if we can find any. All right guys turns out that they did clean this park uh, quite recently. They did try and remove lots of the line that's stuck in the bushes and stuff like that but I did manage to find some line however I uh, don't know what pound test this is and this line is very frayed uh, but it should work perfect for what I'm attempting today so let's quickly set up a rod so just want to point out again I did not remove <clears throat> this stick from any trees or anything like that would not suggest damaging any of the park properties but this is just a normal stick that I found on the ground and with the recovered line Let's quickly make a rod and reel set up for us. Okay, so to be able to use the stick, I'm going to cut a little groove in it using the little saw blade. This is just so that my line can go over this part to go down to the water and then around here I want to remove a piece of bark. This is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Don't know what wood this, this is but it's really good wood. And I'm just going to make these grooves all around the edge. This is just a place for my line to get wrapped around. All right, so this would be a lot easier if I actually researched how to tie a knot with something like this. But in the case where the world did end, I will know what I know now. I wouldn't have known to look up how to tie your line to a piece of stick. Okay, so I think I kind of have a good setup there going on the stick. Quickly gonna get my hook on here. Chose this spot because we have lots of fish swimming around here and some bluegill. Let's see if we can catch any. All right, so I'm not going to be using one of the double hooks. I'm gonna be using one of the smaller single hooks Right, so these are quite small, 
should work perfectly for catching something like bluegill. Alright guys, and here we have my survival setup, a little stick with a little piece of nightcrawler on there. Let's see if we can get it out there to where the fish are. Okay, so the problem I'm having is cast ability, getting out far enough to where the fish are. So I'm putting on a small piece of wood on my line. Uh, hopefully this will give me some casting distance as well as act as a bobber to kind of just spend it in the water. Let's see. Alright, so these bluegills seem to be just a bit too far out for me to reach from here. So let's see if we can find another spot that's perhaps easier to get out to, to, to get this little setup out to the fish. Alright guys, it's taken kind of forever, we finally got one, and there we go, little bluegill, piece of worm still in his mouth, my little stick bobber, nice little bluegill caught on a stick, I think a couple of these would make for quite a good dinner, if you have three of them or something, try to roast them. Right, but let's quickly unhook him and get him back into the water. Right, so nice, decent little bluegill. Gonna need a lot more than just one. So let's try again. There he goes. Alright guys, the way this works Every time I turn off my camera to conserve, to conserve some battery power, I end up hooking a fish, not getting the actual footage of that. But we have our second little bluegill here. And I think that kind of proves that even using something as stupid as a stick with some reclaimed line and a little survival kit hook you can catch these fish having caught enough of them i think you can actually survive from eating fish from this pond maybe using the insides of the fish to try and catch some catfish try catch some bigger fish so i do think catching fish out of this pond having the water you have food you have water you have shelter you might actually just survive out here all right guys, let's quickly get real for a moment. Yes, I did use a stick I found on the ground, uh, some reclaimed line, uh, got some baits, did manage to catch some fish. Yes, you can eat these fish. If you have a fire, you can cook the fish. If you have a fire, you can clean the water. You can use some of the old buildings, perhaps a shelter. You one would think it is possible to live out here, but survival is not only about surviving in the moment it's also about sustainability now we are in the middle of the desert you have warm summers cold winters very few trees around meaning every time you make fire you're going to use up a valuable resource um, like i mentioned the water might actually go down you might be ended you might end up with a lot less water uh, however you have water you have food but the food also you can only sustain yourself that long eating just protein alone you need other vitamins and minerals eating just fish you won't get that so yes you can survive out here but it is not ideal to stay out here and i think should civilization fall a place like las vegas in the middle of the desert is one of the first places that are actually shut down it's only due to civilization and technology that a place like this is actually capable of surviving after all, we are in the middle of the desert, resources are scarce, you cannot plant any 
vegetables, uh, they won't make it in the sun and the amount of water you need to grow plants it's not feasible, you're going to use up your water supply so that being said, you can survive but, but like the Native American tribes I think the best would be to be nomadic moving from one place to another maybe moving to some place where you can actually start with agriculture and start surviving staying in the desert won't be such a good option all right guys but this was a pretty strange video uh, something that i thought about and wanted to test out and yes you can use some basic survival kits to actually survive if you guys think there's something that i didn't think about or mention please write in the comments down below if you enjoyed this type of video give me a little thumbs up thank you for watching and i'll see you next time